Hi, David Gerard here. The COVID-19 pandemic has temporarily put a stop to the video interviews I've been doing. Museums are closed and of course, getting around groups of people and traveling are restricted for a good reason. So in place of the personal interviews I've been doing, I'm going to do a, some historical looks at people in my area who've made a mark in the world. The first person we'll look at is John Hope Franklin. He's memorialized here in downtown Tulsa with his name attached to Tulsa's Reconciliation Park. The park remembers the 1921 Tulsa race riot, the worst of its kind in American history, and it memorializes the contributions of black Americans to the history of Oklahoma. Mr. Franklin was a historian and the first black to chair a major college history department. He was also a writer, and his book, From Slavery to Freedom, published in 1947, still remains as one of the most widely read books on the African American experience in the United States. Mr. Franklin died in 2009, but I met him about 12 years before that. I met him here in Rennesville, Oklahoma, where he was born in 1915. When I met him, the whole town, which was about 50 to 75 people, came out to meet him. I was working for the Muskogee Phoenix newspaper, and I was assigned to cover his visit to his hometown. I met him right here at the outskirts of the Rennesville. He had just come from an appearance in Tulsa, but he wanted to visit his hometown again. We talked about several things, but the story I remember most was the one he told me that occurred in 1921, which involved the Tulsa race riot. Mr. Franklin's father was an attorney, and he often traveled to Tulsa to represent people there. His father was in Tulsa working when the news of the riot reached Rennesville. The news traveled faster than John Hope Franklin's father could get out of Tulsa safely. John Hope Franklin told me his family waited for days before his father could safely leave Tulsa to, and return. I remember Mr. Franklin telling me about the anxiety he had as a six-year-old boy waiting for his father to come home or for news that he was dead. The official count of the worst race riot in American history is about 36 dead. But a commission that looked at the riot a few years ago estimated that as many as 300 people could have been killed. Another thing I talked to Mr. Franklin about when I interviewed him was his participation in President Bill Clinton's initiative on race. President Clinton appointed Mr. Franklin chairman of the commission and they met for more than a year, eventually publishing its findings aimed at finding ways to ensure the promise of equal opportunity for all. This is the first paragraph of the report filed by Mr. Franklin and his panel. America's greatest promise in the 21st century lies in our ability to harness the strength of our racial diversity. The greatest challenge facing Americans is to accept and take pride in defining ourselves as a multiracial democracy. At the end of the 20th century, America has emerged as the worldwide symbol of opportunity and freedom through leadership that constantly thrives to give meaning to democracy's fundamental principles. These principles, justice, opportunity, equality, and racial inclusion must continue to guide the planning for our future.